If there's one thing we should all know about black holes, it's that they are mysterious, dangerous and death-yawning abysses. Recall the most recent movie or television show you watched that included a black hole. Most likely the heroes were attempting to flee from its merciless grasp, or perhaps the black hole was causing strange and chaotic distortions. Either way, none of these sound fun if they were to happen in our reality. As much as scientists have tried to understand them fully, black holes continue to have a mystique and horror surrounding them. This raises the question, is there a black hole out there in the universe that could threaten us as humans? If there is, what's on the opposite side of this gaping chasm of death? Let's find out as we look at this physics-defying black hole and why scientists are scared of it. As confusing as it sounds, black holes are not literal black holes in space. It's more like a star ten times the mass of the Sun compressed into a sphere the size of New York City. As a result, there is a gravitational force that is so powerful that even light cannot escape. Consequently, a black sphere thus develops around all of that tightly packed stuff. This is the so-called event horizon. Black holes can be classified as stellar, moderate, supermassive or small. Stellar death is the process that produces black holes the most frequently. The majority of dying stars will expand, lose mass and then cool to produce white dwarfs. The largest of these hot objects, those at least 10 to 20 times as massive as our Sun, will eventually collapse into either stellar mass black holes or extremely dense neutron stars. Massive star explosions, known as supernovae, mark the end of a star's life cycle. The central core is left behind, but the outer layers of the star are flung into space. An outward push from the nuclear fusion countered the star's inherent gravitational pull while it was still active. But because there are no longer any forces to counteract that gravity, the star core starts to collapse in on itself in the stellar remnants of a supernova. Numerous of these shattered cores develop into neutron stars. Neutron stars are extremely dense, with a single sugar cube weighing as much as a mountain. But occasionally, when a star with an extremely high mass goes supernova, something even more amazing occurs. We're left with a core that has collapsed and is constituted of so much matter crammed into a tiny area that a black hole forms. Do black holes pose a threat? Why black holes have such a terrifying reputation is simple to understand. They aren't exactly the best place to spend your vacation time. If you were to approach it, you might see a disk of incandescent material encircling a black hole. A black hole's gravitational pull can drag matter into its orbit. From the resulting friction, light and heat are generated. This structure is referred to as an accretion disk by scientists. An accretion disk can get as hot as millions of degrees Celsius. It emits a lot of high-energy X-rays as a result. This aids in the discovery of black holes, but it also implies that being too close to one could be harmful to your health. In the event that you survive the accretion disk's extreme heat and radiation, things would only get stranger. There is a region dubbed as the photon sphere that is immediately outside the event horizon of some black holes. Gravity is powerful enough in the photon sphere to bend light around the black hole. Theoretically, light could bounce off your head's back, travel around a black hole and then strike your eyes. You'd be staring at the back of your own skull as you cross the event horizon. Things would get much worse as you cross the event horizon. Assuming you were to approach the black hole from the bottom up, the gravitational pull on your feet would be much greater than the pull on your head as you near the center. You would become like spaghetti, stretched and compressed. Scientists have given this phenomenon the moniker spaghettification. All of this sounds quite ominous and now you might be thinking of what would happen to us if our sun becomes a black hole. Fortunately, our sun is not a large enough star for that to occur. Even if a black hole replaced our sun, Earth would not be pulled in. The black hole would have the same gravitational pull if it had the same mass as the sun. 
it would be impossible for Earth and the other planets in our solar system to change their orbits. We wouldn't be squashed into spaghetti, we would be stumbling around in the dark and shivering in the cold. It seems as though we are right to be at least a bit cautious of black holes, even though we may not be in imminent danger from them. Until recently, scientists held the belief that a supermassive black hole exists in the centre of our galaxy, the Milky Way, as well as the majority of galaxies throughout the universe. And now, astronomers have captured a first ever photograph of the supermassive black hole at the centre of the Milky Way. This result gives strong evidence that the item is a black hole and important details about how these enormous objects operate. The Event Horizon Telescope EHT, collaboration, a worldwide research team, gathered data from a world network of radio telescopes to construct the image. This object, also known as Sagittarius A star or SGR A star, provided the first conclusive direct visual proof that it is a black hole. The black hole itself is invisible to us because it is completely opaque. Still, the illuminating gas surrounding it exhibits a distinctive signature, a dark central region known as a shadow, surrounded by an illuminated ring-shaped structure. The black hole is four million times bigger than the Sun, and this new image reveals how its powerful gravity distorts light. Because the black hole is around 27,000 light-years from Earth, it appears in the sky to be about the same size as a donut on the Moon. The accomplishment follows the 2019 publication by the EHT team of the first image of a black hole at the heart of the Messier 87 galaxy. The two black holes are strikingly similar, despite the fact that the black hole in our galaxy is more than a thousand times smaller and less massive than M87 star. Since it's impossible to capture a black hole in a photograph, trying to do so is pointless. Our instruments are unable to pick up the black hole radiation. Even if light, the quickest object known to man, enters their gravitational vortex, it will be trapped there. Light is twisted and bent by gravity as it's drawn towards the abyss along with heated gas and dust. However, because black holes leave behind light patterns similar to photonegatives, it is possible to spot one lurking just beyond its point of no return. Black holes must eat to be alive, and anything that enters their force field is consumed. That matter is destroyed and shredded. So when Hubble scientists discovered a starving black hole in 2019 with a disk around it, they were astonished and perplexed. The black hole is at the heart of a spiral galaxy, NGC 3147, located 130 million light years away. There isn't enough matter drawn in by this galaxy's gravitational pull to fuel its black hole because it's believed to be a low-brightness galaxy. It wasn't supposed to have a disk around it. Albert Einstein's theory of relativity is a combination of two theories, general and special relativity. This black hole provided scientists with an opportunity to test Einstein's theory. The light from the disk is being distorted by the black hole's gravitational field, allowing astronomers a glimpse into the dynamic processes taking place close to a black hole. Never before have the effects of both general and special relativity been seen so clearly. But what is beyond the black hole? The ability to travel through time may also be hidden within black holes. As if you were to stick a finger through a pancake, of course. Through the hole in the pancake, you might reach another pancake on your plate or another part of the pancake. Now, picture the universe as a pancake-like flat surface. The universe's surface is dipped by large objects like stars. The effects of this dip are felt as gravity. Black holes, as we have established, are not only enormous but also compact, meaning that a lot of matter is gathered in one location. Massive and compact objects like black holes have the potential to make a hole rather than just a dip in the universe. Any objects that pass through the hole could end up in a different area of the universe, another period, or possibly another universe entirely. These theoretical wormholes are called Einstein-Rosen bridges. They're named after Albert Einstein and Nathan Rosen, two scientists who proposed their existence in 1935. 
Imagining that black holes can transport us to distant planets, future epochs or alternate universes is exhilarating. On the other hand, no Einstein-Rosen bridges have been discovered to date. Even if they were real and we were certain of it, not every black hole would produce one. Andromeda and the 31st century are unlikely destinations for us anytime soon, but imagine if you could go to any location and at any time you wanted. If you were to choose, where would you want to go? Thanks for watching another episode of Voyager. While you're still here, make sure to click the video on your screen for more mind-blowing videos about space.